Let's continue on with our topology discussion and how to hold our shapes. Okay, so let me lay down a box and give you a good example of this. Okay, now we have a box here. Let me go in here. and I'm going to go to my Mesh Edit tab. Select Edge Slice, and I'm going to cut this top up here. Like so. I'm going to select Split in the middle to split it in the middle. Uncheck it, and I'm going to take it on down to this. Now we have this simple little X. Let's go to our vert mode. I'm going to select this middle vert, hit the W key, and I'm going to pull this up to demonstrate this. Let's just pretend we're making some kind of spike or tooth, okay, just for argument's sake. Now we have this little spiky item. When I go into sub D mode, we get an egg. And really, when you're looking for a spike, an egg really isn't going to cut it. So how are we going to fix this? And let me show you how I would go about fixing it. And you can fix this in several ways. You don't have to do it my way. So let's go to polygon mode and let's start cutting up our mesh the right way. So let's select these two polygons, select loop slice, count one mode free. And I'm going to put one right up close to the edge here, as you can see. Right there it is. Space bar to drop the tool, click to deselect. Now we have that loop slice there. So let's go into back into our sub D mode still got a f egg so what we need is we need to let, put some slices around the top of this but we can't do that because these are not these are not set up right to handle it for one thing they're not quads and if I select these two and try to run a loop slice you'll see what I get here I'm getting this funky line there and it's not doing it the way I want it to do it so what we need to do is I want to go into my side view here Okay, and I'm going to select, I'm going to box select the verts that we just, above the line that we just made. Now, don't use your left mouse button. Use your middle mouse button. Your left mouse button will just select the faces that you're looking at. So if I use my right mouse button to select these vertices, and I go back to my perspective mode, you'll see. Well, shoot. I deselected everything. Let's go back into our side mo mode here. What you want to do is use your middle mouse button to select the verts above the line we just made because your middle mouse button will select all the way through your model. Okay? So there we go. We've selected that. I'll go back into perspective. You can see that all four of them all the way around are selected. So let's hit the W key and let's bring these up like this. Okay, now let's hit the R key to scale it. And let's scale it in. Like so. Spacebar, drop the tool. Let's go back to our perspective view. And now you can see what's going on up here. I can select this vert, hit the W key, and then bring it up a little. Okay, now we've got that little line up there. Now we can select around these, and it will do a loop slice for us. So if I hit the tab key now, we're holding our spike. We're still not holding our shape, but we're holding our spike. So we just need a little bit more work to do. So let's go ahead and go back to polygon mode and select around through here. Let's add a loop slice. Let's count of two because I want one at the top and the bottom. I'm going to put the bottom one real close like that, and we'll put the top one pretty close as well. Spacebar, drop the tool. Now we're starting to hold our shape a little better. Okay. So now that we have that, we want to put some around this way. Now when I do this this way, you'll see I've got one there and I've got one there. I'm, making my, I'm able to make my cuts now. So let's put one real close to the top and we'll put the other one real close to the bottom. Spacebar, drop the tool, hit our, space, our tab key and we're getting, we're getting there. Okay, so we just need a few more slices to go. So let's do a loop slice up along this way. Like that. So let's do our loop slice. I want to make the count one. Make the mode free. I'm going to select. Now as you can see, I've got a loop and it runs all the way around. So let's put, put it right over here towards the edge. Like so. 
spacebar drop the tool. Let's do that same thing again. Only this time, we'll put it on the other side. Now when I hit the tab key, you can see we're really starting to hold our geometry now. So let's go ahead and do our last little slices here, which would be up along this way. And we'll put one over on this side, and we'll put the other over on this side. Spacebar drop the tool. And now when I go into sub-D mode, you can see we're absolutely holding our shape and everything looks pretty good. So it's all a matter of how you cut up your mesh. Now we're holding that exact same shape, but we're in sub-D mode. Okay? So that is another way to make sure that your topology stays consistent and stays in quads. It's all about how you cut up your polygons. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.